Hey everybody, I'm gonna let some people hop on here real quick. Um, I don't have as massive a following as a lot of these people do that are out there on social media, but I am going to put this out there um, because I have got a lot of contacts that the Lord has helped me build over the last few years. And those contacts are people who have given me intelligence and given me information that has to do with our nation and its future um, so that I could use it for Bible prophecy teaching. Um, so I want to share with you, uh, some things right now that I have been given the permission to share. I've known it for a couple of days, but I'm just now getting the permission to share it. So, uh, I want you to share this as much as you can share this video and let people be able to see what's going on. Okay. So in the years that I've been teaching about Bible prophecy and Bible prophecy being fulfilled, um, those of you that have been in our meetings know that, um, uh, I have, uh, shared uh, details and, and those details were, um, government regulated information that was given to me, um, from different sources. And I, I can go all the way back to telling you that when Obama was trying to do away with 501c3s, that we had an attorney on the inside that was connected, uh, and I'll just leave it like that, that was sharing with us that he was meeting with them and telling them to cut every church, every 501c3. Uh, so back from that time, I've even got people who have uh, had military contractors that have shared things with me uh, through the years. And so I'm going to share a couple of things that have been shared with me. Um, this is so that some of you can watch and listen, but this is the easiest way to get it out. My phone has rung off the hook. Uh, I'm telling you, I, it's just rung and I've been messaged and I've gotten messages and text. Where are we at? Brother Wade, can you help us? Pastor Wade, please let us know what's going on. Okay, you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. You need to listen very good. So, um, again, share this with your friends, share this with your family. I'm letting some more people get on here. Uh, share this with those that are immediately around you because this is going to know uh, what, what's going on? I'm sorry. I'm trying to read here at the same time. Um, uh, Tootie is asking me, explain the Republic is coming. Uh, let me be real brief on that. Um, under FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the United States ended up in a treaty with Great Britain that made the United States a corporation instead of a Republic. Okay. It has been a shadow government and a shadow thing has gone on for a long time. President Trump has vowed to make sure that it does not stay in place. And all the people that are coming against him are people that have something to lose in this shadow government. Uh, position, authority, finance, income, pension, all of that kind of stuff, money talks. And so the president signed on July the 4th of this year, July the 4th, he signed a brand new document. And that document was one that took us back into the Republic out of the corporation. Okay. That's basically what happened there. Now there's a lot of other stuff I could get into and I will not go into it right now. I do know more about that, but this is where we are right now. Okay. So with those of you that are on here, I want to share with you real quickly that we are looking imminently. I've got some notes over here. Imminently. And when I say imminently, I'm talking about the next two or three days, okay? We are looking at a martial law being declared. This is coming straight from my contacts in D.C., y'all, okay? We are going to see martial law declared. Well, what level, what degree of martial law, whatever they have to do to bring things under a corrective mode, okay? So basically, what I'm trying to tell you is you need to be prepared for there to be a martial law declaration. Uh, I will tell you that two days ago, the FCC, Federal Communications Commission, sent out a letter and posted, I've read the post myself, they posted that the FCC was warning all of the media outlets that they must produce whatever the president says. If not, they lose their license. So when that came out, Twitter shuts the president down, Facebook shuts the president down, and now Google is trying to shut down uh, the end of the thing. Uh, they're just trying to do a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so with all of this going on, 
Uh, we are in a situation right now where martial law is going to be declared, okay? Um, uh, this is something that has been coming. This is something that has been uh, prepared. Uh, Faith, I'll just answer you real quick and tell you that um, this is not prophetic. This is not what I'm sharing as a prophet. This is what I'm sharing as actual information. Uh, but thank you for your question. Um, it should not last over 30 days, okay? It should not last over 30 days. And that 30-day period is going to be a period where there's going to be some house cleaning done. And when I say that, I mean it. I'm talking about people are going to be affected in government agencies and they're going to be brought down, okay? So this is what you need to do. Number one, you need food for two weeks on hand. I know you've seen that in some Facebook forwards and some messenger and all that stuff, but we are coming down to where that is gonna be called. You must understand the president has let this play out, has let this play out totally and completely so that he could find out who was against him and who was against the Republic. And we are going to see that restored. If you'll notice, um, uh, the, the things that are coming out, they're coming out more frequent. The videos, all this stuff is happening. I'm telling you exactly what I am hearing from government sources. Nothing more, nothing less. The Congress is wanting to impeach President Trump. Why? Well, it's because special forces took the laptops of many congressmen when they fled the building last Wednesday. They took their laptops. One of them was Nancy Pelosi. They are scared to death that what's on their laptops is going to be revealed. And so I want you to listen to me real quick here and let me tell you some things that you need to have put together. You need to have two weeks of food that you can cook, okay? Um, most people only have enough to make it through the next two meals in their home. That's a, just a fact in America. Um, but the supply routes will probably be detoured to where you will not be able to get some things or restaurants will not be able to serve you. So, so be sure you do that. Fill your vehicles with fuel. Make sure that you have vehicles filled with fuel. Make sure that they are topped off. Make sure that you have extra cans of gas if you need it, okay, or diesel. Make sure you have that. Okay, medicine for 30 days. Um, just make sure that you've got the stuff that you need. I mean, I'm in the boat right now where I've got a prescription running out. My insurance won't fill it for another few days. So as soon as it comes up, I've got to get that filled. Uh, but you need to have stuff on hand that you might need medically for 30 days. Um, the, the last thing that I want to tell you is the martial law is coming ASAP. Um, it is going to be coming in because it is the president's last effort he has allowed everything legally to happen, even though there's been an illegal re election, even though that there have been illegalities of people not doing the right thing, okay? So uh, we are hearing and seeing, I'm trying to get out of the sunlight here, we are hearing and seeing on multiple levels that we are going to see martial law. I'm telling you one more time, martial law will be declared. Well, how's that going to affect us? Well, I'm in a rural area. It may not affect me that much, but interstate traffic, how major highway traffic, there may be roadblocks. Okay, just get ready for that. Um, uh, if you're in a situation where you're in a city, urban area, um, it could get kind of hairy, just to be real honest with you, uh, because uh, Antifa and BLM are going to hit the streets. But guess what? There are already troops in place right now to make the arrests. Already they're in place. Uh, I will share with you that I have a contact that has to do with the military uh, that has let me know that the planes that are being used in the military uh, from a Air Force base, I'll just leave it at that, um, that those um uh, planes have already been up in the air. They've already been doing reconnaissance. They've already been doing things so that we are going to see this happen. Okay. Um, there's a couple of questions I'm going to try to answer, but I'm not going to jump off into this because I don't want to make this a long drawn out process. I'm just trying to get the information out and this is the best way to do it. Okay. Who is going to declare the martial law? The president of the United States has that right to declare martial law. Um, 
the uh, president has the right, he has the availability, he has the power, and they've already tested the emergency broadcast system and have warned the emergency broadcasting system uh, broadcasters, which would be any radio, any TV, any public print that can do video or sound, they have to come under that or they lose their federal communications license. Now, I'm just gonna throw this out there, wouldn't it be great if CNN decided not to host him and not let him say it and the FCC license was pulled and CNN was given to another network, lock, stock, and barrel? Yeah, that's the kind of thing we're looking at. Okay, Dwayne, you're asking what should we do in response to this? This is what you need to do. First, pray, all right? Uh, but you need to have food for two weeks. Fill your vehicles with fuel. You need to take out as much cash as you can have on hand because I'm telling you, cash talks. Whatever you need, cash talks. So make sure that you have that. Uh, make sure you have medicine for 30 days. Make sure that um, that you are compliant with everything that has to do with your house being able to operate and function, okay? Um, if you are a Second Amendment person, make sure, make sure that you have your weapons and that you have bullets. You may never have anybody come to your door, and then again, they may be the first place you stop. Um, I would be ready in case anything happened, okay? Um, I am trying to cover as much as I can here uh, with you guys. There's 82 people watching right now. I'm not one of these guys that have 1,500 people jump on immediately. But uh, the, the sources that are giving me this information, it is multiple sources, okay? Multiple sources. And the sources that are being shared please hear me, are sources that I have from Washington, D.C. to military bases that I've done Bible prophecy teaching and they've given me information that has always been precise. And I have been getting this for three days, but it was expedited to me last night that we need to get this out. So I made the phone call and I said, okay, who can I share this with? Who needs to know this? And immediately... I uh, got an answer that said, please share this information at this point. Um, we are in a battle for everything that God intended for this country. We are in the battle for our spiritual rights. We're in the battle for our civil rights. We're in the battle for all of the things that the Constitution was built to give us and to protect. And we have had a shadow government that has been working against us this whole time that has been trying to keep people completely, totally subdued. And uh, they think they've got it done. Yes, it was Antifa that went in, not the Patriots. But I'll also tell you this. I received word earlier that special forces dressed up as Antifa so that they could get in with them. Special forces from our military went in with Antifa to the Capitol building and they confiscated the laptops. <laughs> That's just funny as I'll get out. They confiscated the laptops in the Capitol building and when the people came back and found out their laptops were gone, they've been scared to death because they know it's coming. There's gonna be a lot of arrests. There are gonna be a lot of people that are picked up, a lot of people that are booked into jail that have been in high profile areas. But here's what you need to know. God still has a plan for America. God still has a place for us to do the ministry that he's called us to do. America was not created on anything else but the promise of God. And so I want to uh, have you understand that we are going to see some big things happen. We are going to see some huge things happen, but we just need to keep the peace. I mean, literally, um, you can, okay, you want me to preach a little bit, I'll preach a little bit. In Exodus, Moses told the people right before they crossed over into the land of promise, hear me, hear me there, right before they crossed over into the land of promise, he said, hold your peace. And what does that mean? It means that you have the right to give up your peace or to hold your peace. It is a spiritual decision. You can panic, run amok, and say it's all over, we don't have any hope, or you can trust the Lord who knows how to make a Red Sea part in the last minute, but not only that, to bring all of the armies, all of the armies of the enemy into that Red Sea so they could be destroyed. 
And the Bible says they never saw the Egyptians again forever from that day. Folks, that is exactly where we need to be at. Hold your peace. Hold on to God. Let him be your guide right now. And listen to the Spirit of God. Uh, there's a, a posting that I did way back in March um, or April, I believe. And, and, and I'll try to repost it here. Um, but it's a post that I did that talked about a dream that the Lord showed me, the angel of the Lord taking care of God's people. We're going to be okay. He has never brought us this far to leave us, and he has a plan that is bigger than all of us, and we need to hold on to what God is doing right now. So I'm going to recap this for some of you that are just coming on. Please hear me. Government contacts that I have from teaching Bible prophecy, preaching Bible prophecy, you have to understand, I may be preaching in Arkansas at a church and have somebody sitting in the crowd that's visiting that is a defense contractor for the United States government. I've been preaching in Alabama before and shared some intricate details. And after that, the man in the service came to me and he said, I am a contractor for the United States government. And everything you just said was true. Well, I've built this network of people and then God has allowed me over the last few months to even add more to that that I've been watching. And so, folks, I want you to understand that uh, uh, God is calling people to look to him. God is calling people to take their eyes and place them on him instead of government, instead of any type of trusting in man. He wants the trust to be put in him. Okay, so we are going to see this happen. I'm just telling you again, for those of you who are watching, there's over 100 of you on here right now. Um, you need food for two weeks. You need your vehicles full of fuel. You need to take out as much cash as you can. You need medicine for 30 days. It is imminent that we are going to see martial law declared. I'm getting that from every source I have. Everybody's saying the same thing. And so I believe God is going to help us. I believe we are going to see victories take place. I believe the angel of the Lord that encamps round about those that fear him are going to be on full guard and alert. I believe the angel of the Lord is going to cause your pantry to have in it what it needs in it and your freezer to have in it what it needs in it. I believe that the hand of the Lord is going to make sure that you have provision in every single way. Folks, I love you. I thank God for you. I'm going to jump off of here in just a second. Uh, I just want you to know that this is what we are seeing. This is what we are hearing. Multiple sources, the same exact information. That's the only reason I'm sharing it. And one of my sources, I had to ask permission to share this, and I got permission to share it. So that's why I'm coming on here now. I'm not trying to make a name for myself. I'm not trying to tell anybody else uh, what to do. I'm just telling you that this is what we're hearing. Somebody asked a little bit uh, ago, they said, well, how does this make you look as a man of God if it doesn't happen? This is not a prophecy. I'm not prophesying to you. I've done that on numerous occasions, but this is not a prophecy. This is direct intelligence that is coming because of people that I've built relationships with that are or, uh, military or paramilitary organizations. And God has allowed me to do that. So I'm just trying to challenge everybody. You can share this as much as you want to, um, or you cannot share it. It doesn't bother me. I am just putting it out there because I don't want you and your babies to be without anything. Uh, if you can do something, do it. Go ahead and make sense. I, I've even had one thing uh, that I haven't said on here yet, and that is develop some type of form of communication because we are probably going to see a shutdown of communication. We will probably see the telecommunications market go down for a while under government control. Um, and so I'm just telling you that that's where we're at. And uh, uh, I believe God is going to help us and God is going to be there with you. And uh, if you don't believe it, well, I can't help you one bit. But those of you that are in law enforcement that are on here that I see on here right now, bud, um, those of you that have been involved in that, you know that we are looking at a very different time than we've ever looked at before. I, I am very patriotic. I want you to understand, I can trace my lineage back to Martha Washington's first cousin. His name was Light Horse Harry Lee, and that is my fifth great-grandfather. His son was Robert E. Lee. Okay? So, 
I can trace my lineage all the way back to the colonial times fighting for this country to make this a place where people can worship God. You need to hear me very clearly. As much as I'm a patriot, I am first a believer. And I do believe in the republic for which it stands. I've said that my whole life every time I've put my hand over my heart and made that pledge. But I want you to hear me, please. Please hear me right now. I am trusting God, not the government, not a man in the government. My trust is in the Lord. Now, I am going to jump off of here, but I wanted you guys to see this. Go back to the beginning and, and watch it. And uh, uh, I'll try to tell you more when I know more, but I just have to tell you that's where we are right now. Um, that, that's where we are. So um, I love you guys. I thank God for you. Um, I will try to show uh, as much as I can or tell as much as I can as time unfolds. Um, I'm going to be speaking for a little bit this afternoon uh, at an event, and I'm going to be sharing some biblical insight to what's going on right now that the Lord put, put in my spirit. And so uh, um, I just want you guys to know that, uh, that we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Uh, I've, I've got a, a bunch of guns and I've got a bunch of ammo, but my trust is not in that. My trust is not in that. My trust is in the Lord because he is my source. He's my protection. So I love you guys. I thank God for you. Um, I'm just doing this on here so that those that have been sending me messages, those that have been uh, trying to get information to me uh, or from me, <laughs> that I can do this all at one time. So uh, I just want to let you know about it, let you know this is what God is doing. God bless you, and I love you, and uh, stay tuned. All right, God bless you. Bye-bye.